that tension, the tension with the, you know, I mean, it was a good 15, 20 seconds, and that's a long time. It was a long time, you know what? But honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. When they, when Earth, Wind, and Fire started playing, I was like, this is pretty cool. I'm like, <laughs> calm down. Um, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, um, like I said, if I had to lose anyone, I'm glad it was Huntley. You know, he's uh, so deserving, very proud of him. Um, and you know what? Being on the first team, Reba, we made it to the finale, top two. Being from Missouri myself, it's farther than anyone else from Missouri has made it on the show, so I've already set a record. Um, and being a minor, uh, being the, the last kid standing for the last few rounds is really insane. And for America to vote me into top two, it's just it's crazy. You know, and, and very well deserved. You worked really hard for it. Your, um, just your range in, in, not just your vocal range, but your range in, in emotions and, and all the different styles you brought in and the things that you were trying really showed so many different sides. It, it feels like you can do anything. Do you feel like you, you expanded your horizons on this show with Reba? You know, I, I feel like I definitely have, um, just like... Being here is, is so insane, and to be able to work with Reba and all the amazing coaches, like seeing them in person, let alone like through a TV screen, it's really like insane. Like watching the show and then and then going back to our hotel and then seeing it, it's like, I this happened for real. Like I'm not just seeing this through a screen. Like I did that in person. Um, you know, it's amazing, and the support I've gotten from all of the coaches, not just Reba, has been really incredible. And um, you know, this isn't the end of me. I'm not done. So. I mean, You'll see me again. You're six. You're 16. You're only just starting, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's crazy because like uh, people expect me to take it like really hard, but you know, it's like I'm a kid. I have like my entire life in front of me. I'm like, this is just gonna be just a tiny little pebble in in you know this gravel road that's gonna be in front of me, and um, you know, it's it's gave me like this huge boost, and you know, the the fans I have from it, and the fans that voted me to the top two it's insane I mean come on now and um you know I'm just I'm I'm I feel like a winner you know I've made it farther than a lot of people can say and you know I'm in a very small group of people that have even made it to this point so I feel really good okay so to your to your St. Louis fans to your TV station back there at home and they were really into it I did <laughs> I, I was like I was talking about you right and right and like they had a live shot right at 1105 and they had all the, you know, all your fans all, you know, gathering and crying and <laughs> weeping. Give them the consolation. Tell them how you're feeling and, and what's next for you so that they don't feel too bad. Well, I feel great. Um, don't worry about me. You'll see me again. I'm not quitting music. <laughs> I'm only going to have nightmares for the rest of my life. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> but no. Um, no, I feel really good. Um, yeah, this isn't the end of me. I'm not, I'm not giving up, you know. And... Um, you can't win them all, you know, um, it's just, it's one of those things, you know, it's like, there's so many people like Morgan Wallen didn't win the show and look at him now. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, so I feel great. I am a winner. Um, I feel good, you know, just because I didn't win the entire show, I made it to the top two. I mean, come on now. I was that close. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel great. I'm, I'm a winner.